Hello, today we're going to show you what happens when water leaves our homes. Here is our colleague Helena taking you on a tour of a wastewater treatment works prior to social distancing. We hope you find it interesting. Thank you. Approximately 20,000 miles of underground pipes collect raw sewage from the region's homes, liquid waste from industry and rainwater that falls on roofs and roads. After water has been used, it enters a waste pipe, travels into a drain, then into a sewer pipe that joins others to form a large sewer. Eventually it reaches one of over 600 wastewater treatment works across the region. So the wastewater goes through several stages where we improve the water for it's good enough to be released into rivers and the sea. The incoming sewage arrives at the works via large sewers. Debris and large objects such as wood, rags, paper and plastics are removed by passing the wastewater through specially designed metal grids called screens. These screenings are taken to landfill. Wastewater is transferred into large tanks called primary settlement tanks where most of the remaining solids sink to the bottom, forming sewage sludge. The sludge produced goes through further treatment to enable it to be spread on farmland to improve soil quality or burned in an incinerator. Sludge can be used to generate renewable energy, be used to power the wastewater treatment works. Using anaerobic digestion, methane gas is produced from the sludge which is burnt to produce electricity. Wastewater passes to secondary treatment. There are two methods. Biological filters, a bed of small stones covered in slime where billions of microorganisms feed on bacteria and organic pollutants in the wastewater, is trickled over the filter. The other method, used at large works, is activated sludge treatment, which is the biological treatment of sewage. Sludge full of microorganisms is mixed with the wastewater. The mixture is known as mixed liquors. Air is passed continuously through this mixture. Bacteria and organic pollutants are removed by the microorganism. Finally, the wastewater enters our final settlement tanks where any remaining microorganisms and sludge sink to the bottom. Some of this sludge is returned to the activated sludge plant to treat more sewage. The rest is treated with the sludge removed at the primary settlement tanks. Sometimes there is a tertiary process that uses UV light to ensure the beaches maintain their blue flag status. It's important to our environment that the water we use is returned safely to the rivers and the sea. Many of our rivers are cleaner now than since the Industrial Revolution over 100 years ago. This is because we've been hard at work updating and modernising many of our wastewater treatment plants in the region. We play a massive part in improving Yorkshire's coastal bathing waters thanks to continuous investment in our wastewater treatment in these areas.